So we're in Madrid, we're at Fuse 2023. I'm here with Canis Mardi. She is Senior VP of Technology, Architecture and Innovation and Group Chief Architect at Deutsche Telekom and a board member of TIP. So Canis, thanks very much for joining us today. So um, we're here, this is basically the, the TIP event, Fuse. Um, can you tell us about TIP's priorities for 2024, looking ahead? Yeah, Ray, I'm super excited about how we are shaping the agenda for 2024. Uh, three main things that are top of mind. One, of course, is the certification charter that we have taken up on ourselves. Um, certification for open Wi-Fi, open OLT, but then more and more importantly, what is exciting me the most is open RAN certification. Speaking from my DT head, I-14 Y-Lab is, is something that we helped uh, found, and the combination of TIP and I-14 Y, I feel that that is the fundamental problem of the industry that we are on to solving, and I'm truly excited about it. So that's uh, priority number one. Second, uh, we are looking to beyond the current scope. So until now, the scope has been on open disaggregation, open functions, disaggregated software functions and whatnot. Now we are slowly moving out into um, things which are not traditionally the turf for the scope of the telco. We are looking into uh, AI, for example. We are looking into disaggregated um, hardware. We're looking into GPUs, GPUs. Uh, so those are the new areas that we will be approaching um, and targeting for next year. Then as we bring in the new scope in technology, we have to broaden our ecosystem. So traditionally, it has been um, folks like myself representing the tier one operators and um, uh, the non-traditional vendors. Now we are expanding, as, as you may have noticed, in Fuse uh, 2023 agenda already. It's a very nice potpourri of suppliers and ecosystem players. Um, folks like uh, Ericsson and Nokia is basically joining conversations with folks like Maminar and NEC, so which is, which is very fresh and, and, and nice to see. And then we don't stop there. We are also, we have a concerted effort getting the ecosystem beyond the telco sector. So getting into the automation, AI and hyperscalers. Just this morning, I led a panel, a very, very diverse panel on AI. And I was joined by Microsoft, NVIDIA and Nokia Bell Labs, a first of, for all of the three um, on the stage. Okay, so certainly not standing still, that's for sure. Now, you mentioned AI there, and of course, you know, there isn't really a conversation that happens in the telecom industry right now without uh, a mention of artificial intelligence. Can you just tell us about some of the specific activities that TIP is taking off that are related to AI? A little early days to say exactly what activities we will be taking on in TIP, but uh, we are scratching the surface as to what is the scope that is going to be. We will definitely be setting up a working group um, of sorts. And here the idea and thinking is not just to go to create the community just for the sake of community. We want to bring in the right players in the mix so we are solving the real challenges and the real complex problems. Telecommunications and machine learning are have been together for many, many years now, not a new problem. Uh, but at scale adoption of machine learning uh, with telco, there are some real life challenges that have to be handled and overcome. And because of that, we are bringing the in other industry sectors who have done it, been there. For example, the hyperscalers, we are also bringing in the likes of NVIDIA to help us um, navigate the data problem and uh, help us uh, with the data modeling problem. So. I gave you a long-winded answer to a very simple question, uh, but the thing is that we have several sessions planned in uh, Fuse, and uh, toward the end of this week, I should be able to give you a more concrete scope as to what is going to be the manifesto for what we will be doing for AI. No, oh, excellent. No, uh, things are moving very fast, so it sounds like you're uh, on top uh, of deciding what to, to focus on. Trying to. Uh, yeah. Um, now, of course, these working groups, uh, there's, uh, TIP has been around for a while. There's lots of different areas of development. Um, but what kind of impact does TIP's work actually have uh, on the, the telecom sector? What kind of difference uh, does it make at the end of the day? The very first one, which is very obvious already, is to cracking the nut. 
Yeah, so we cracked the nut on the black boxes with the segregation, driving the industry momentum, the ecosystem that will come with us to help show the world that this segregation is possible. But then once we have shown the world that this segregation is possible, now comes, okay, how do I deploy it? And there again, TIP comes to help with certification framework. So things like, Volte or I should say OLT disaggregation or anti disaggregation have gone through that life cycle and they're getting close to deployment. And here, the impact that TIP is making is through the certification framework. Now, the new challenges that are rising up the surface, like for example, it is the segregation of the hardware, hardware acceleration, hardware abstraction, as well as uh, my favorite um, uh, AI, and then the second favorite, satellite and HAPS. Those are the new technologies that will require not just a telco, not just a traditional and non-traditional telco suppliers, but it will require a crowdsourced innovation and co-creation with the other sectors, for example, the hyperscalers, for example, the likes of NVIDIA and all. Um, and what better ground to go play that than TIP, because we are basically the, the bridge that connects us multiple worlds together. A lot of uh, companies here in Madrid that are uh, members of TIP, interested in what's going on, a lot of discussions, uh, a lot of breakout sessions. It's early in the event, but what's the big takeaway for you so far from the event this year? The energy and the brightness all around me. I am super enthused. And more than that, it's uh, stretching beyond my comfort zone. It's going and having a conversation with the likes of Microsoft or AWS or NVIDIA on the art of the possible that can be had by multi-sector co-creation. And that's what excites me the most. And that is my key takeaway. It's still the very first day of, uh, of use, but already I'm seeing the vibe of co-creation and multi-sector innovation. Canis, Thanks for talking to us and updating us on what TIP is uh, doing right now, what impact it's having and what it has planned for next year. So thanks very much. Thank you, Ray.